All right, so I had high hopes for Hogwarts Legacy since it's developed by Avalanche Software, uh, the same developers that brought us uh, Mad Max, which uh, if you haven't played, it is an amazing open world game and uh, ran extremely well. So I am happy to say that the game does run pretty well on PC. Now one thing I did notice is that this game uses a lot of your physical memory and your GPU VRAM. So if you're playing at a higher resolution, let's say 1440p, uh, you might have to turn down your uh, settings a little bit depending on what you have. And uh, it you might get some slight stutter here and there depending on your hard drive speed as well. As I did notice uh, going from, uh, especially open areas, uh, from area to area, there's a slight stutter, and uh, I think it's just compiling shaders, but uh, it really is depending on the speed of your uh, hard drive. And speaking of shader, now this game on your first boot up will take a few minutes to compile a shader. Again, that depends on how fast your system is, but every time that you restart the game, it does need to recompile a little bit of the shader, uh, but nowhere nearly as long as the first time. Uh, so unfortunately if you make any changes to the graphic setting it does need to recompile it after you restart so there is that but it is better than uh, you know in game when it stutters now the game does have a ton of graphical options that you can change uh, when it comes to the upscaling technology these are the ones that are provided if you don't know what nvidia nis is um, and you have the option for dlss go ahead and use that there's no reason to use the inferior uh, NVIDIA NIS uh, if you don't know what that is so just stick with DLSS as for everything else I'm not sure why there is an FSR point version 1.0 when there's a version 2.0 in there so but uh, these are the options that you have now the game does also support HDR and then there is a few slider that you can use to adjust uh, how it looks so that is much appreciated as opposed to just being on and off and also ray tracing uh, there's three options there's reflection uh, there's the shadow and then there's uh, the ambient occlusion so that is nice uh, you can pick between those which on and off that you want now warner brother did state that, that the game supported ultra wide but we weren't sure if it was just 21 by 9 gameplay and not cutscene and that is the case the game does support 21 by 9 and 32 by 9 uh, cutscene are in pillar box however Fortunately, there was a quick fix by Laya over at Wise Green Gaming Forum. Uh, so go ahead and give him a huge thank you and uh, consider buying him a coffee because there is a lot of cutscene in the game as expected. Uh, there are some FMV that's of course in Pillar Box, but uh, they aren't that many and uh, they're only like about 5-10 seconds max. So. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Shout out to Lyo over there at the gaming forum for the super ultra quick fix on the cutscene. And I'm also happy to say that there is a built-in FOV slider. That's just the right amount to, to toggle uh, based on your preference. Uh, so that is always appreciated. In the graphical setting, there is a benchmark option, but all it does simply is just auto detect the best settings based on your system. Uh, it's not what you're accustomed to. Um, it's not a real time. Uh, benchmark tests uh, so see how your uh, system runs but it's more like it's just auto detect real quick and then it just sets the uh, the best option for you as for the game itself it is a lot of fun I am enjoying um, casting spells a lot in this game it's pretty simplistic um, I really like the idea of uh, choosing a target based on your mouse direction and then just left click to attack and then using the number keys as your spell um, it's very intuitive and it's very easy too so uh, combat is pretty simplistic. It's a lot of fun, and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. And this is coming from uh, someone that has not seen any of the movies or read any of the books, and uh, is really not infatuated that much about the the universe of Harry Potter. So, but yeah, if you're on the same boat and you just uh, really enjoy action RPG like myself, then I think this is a a very safe uh, pickup if the game interests you at all. Let alone uh, pick it up when it's on sale. Alright guys, that does it for this quick PC port impression. Like always, I do appreciate uh, everyone that uh, leave a like and comment in my video. And uh, like always, I will see you in the next one. For now, take care. Bye.